you saying? <laughs> Sorry. And then of course... <laughs> I have to take a video. <laughs> We're all very interested in your pizza degreasing. Oh, it's degreasing. Of course we are. Uh, you got a trash? Yeah, we have trash. Yeah, because I need a trash if I'm to continue. Otherwise, I'm going to be putting on the floor. Yes, I will. I need the trash basically ASAP. So that's going to feel free to visit at any time. <laughs> you can say it to everyone that, that questions the trash, aren't you? <laughs> Jamie has a lot of cat phrases. I've noticed. <laughs> I need a furry feline friend. So I'm going to start the perm order. Oh. <laughs> Grab Yuna. She's needed. <laughs> You can see how much grease that soaks up, too. Yeah, yeah oh, a lot. Right behind you, Daniel. The main thing is, uh, a lot of laboratory stuff that I see for how effective this is only goes maybe like one round of this, mm -hmm. let alone the extreme extent I go to. You know, I remember from several years ago, I mean, you're, you're of course you're familiar with the uh, Something Awful forums. There's, they had a lot of fans of yours there. I remember the main poster of one, or the the original poster of one of the threads actually did his own degreasing video to try to prove how effective it was. I don't remember the results though. I've seen like news articles and stuff that talk about it being effective. Really? Yeah. Do they cite him or No. Well, that's a shame. He basically invented it or at least popularized it. Yeah. At least the steps. Yeah. I mean, I never would have heard about it if not for something awful uh, in Nick. But yeah, I take quite a while doing this. So don't be surprised. Well, I mean, it would, be, it would depend on which which kind of pizza. Some, uh, some pizza places are greasier than others. We've seen your, like, 20, 30 minute pizza degreasing video. Yep. I think I had a lot of time lapse in it too. Yeah, you did. I mean, I remember. I, I don't know if you've. I don't know how many pizzas, pizza places you you compare this to. For in my in my experience, um, uh, Little Caesars is the greasiest pizza place. I, I and I have I no had idea. Little Caesars in several years now. Me neither. It's pretty bad. I have no data. No, I I used to have a lot when I was a kid. It's pretty bad. Um, my quality dropped a lot over the years. What was it? The quality of pizza dropped over the years of Little Caesars. Oh, I wonder what happened. No idea. It. Hmm. I wish I could answer that, but I'm not really that much of an expert on pizza. Ask me, ask me burgers and fries. I'll tell you. The answer is cookout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, don't forget that secret ingredient. What's that? S M I L E Z. <laughs> that is the important. Yes. How how could I forget that? That is the yeah. that is the ingredient of oh, life yeah. of life really. Yeah, but notice how it's in uh, misspelled. I use the Z instead yeah. of the S. Oh, that just means there's more of it. Hmm. So, how long does the average degreasing take exactly? Uh, Data wise. I actually don't really remember. But for Domino's, it's pretty quick. Hmm. Which one of the greasiest pizzas you've uh, gotten, if you remember? I do not remember. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty much almost Domino's all the way through. If I had to take a guess from the different pizza chains, at least the ones that I've had, I'd probably say CC's, because they're a, they're a buffet place, you know? Yeah. The quality would have to be lower. They put them up quicker. There actually was a CC's nearby here, and I, th I thought that that's, well, yeah, and I thought that's where w we were going to. But I'll, I'm going to let you in on a pretty pretty obvious secret. I really don't like pizza from there. They have lots of pasta and other stuff. It's it's just the interesting thing about CC's is it's a buffet, a pizza buffet. It's not. It's like the lowest quality pizza I've had though. <clears throat> 
back when I was living with Edgar, we lived within like like one street over from the CCs. Uh, we would very often like just drink and go eat a ton of pizza. You could just walk over. Stage one complete for this pizza. This is covered up so that way it continues degreasing as it takes time to be eaten. Hmm. Hmm. And now for number two, done pretty much exactly the same way, except I'm going to have to put this on pause because I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I'm a thirsty thing. Sure, I may have been sunken up to here in the lake for quite some time, but mm. hey, you don't drink that stuff. No. <laughs> no. I, I mean, did accidentally. It was terrible. <laughs> you're lucky you didn't get some kind of uh, stomach thing, because that... I, I'm pretty sure we probably got some parasites in there. That is impressive, Nick. <laughs> um, I cannot drink that much without, say, choking. But then again, I've never really tried all that much. You're the expert, not, not me. I've been doing it for several years. Yeah. I mean... Uh, and now I don't have to get a drink for several hours. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't imagine so. Yeah, whenever I go hike like a mile or whatever, I get a drink immediately before I start, so that way I don't have to get a drink for a while. Less to carry and whatnot. Yeah. I, I remember in your old videos you used to drink a lot of like like Minute Maid flavored water and all that. Ah, lemon, uh, Minute Maid light lemonade. Hmm. I stopped that because uh, what I have now is half the price. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm thinking of just ditching this as much as possible and focusing on the water from the fountains and whatnot, because that's zero dollars and zero cents, basically. Uh, yeah. We drink a lot of flavored water. What I actually do is I just that get... That is flavored water. Yeah, mm. but um, we get these sh sugar, like, they're not sugar. Um, you, you get packets, yeah. flavor, flavor packets. Yeah, and we put that in uh, tap water. I guess that makes me a standout here, but I just buy a bottle of water, and then once it's empty, I just keep refilling it from tap. It's free and doesn't taste that bad. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, I can't use the same cup more than once. Well, okay, that's true. So in that case, I cannot go on that road. Well, I can't fight you there, man. That's you, not me. And it's definitely cleaner to do that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't understand it, but if I try to use the same cup more than once, I tend to get an urge to want to barf. It's mm. probably like a germ thing. Mm. Yeah, but I've been swimming in algae heavy swamp, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, yeah, I yes, that, that. that too is also true. It could also just be like a taste thing or something. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's annoying to say the least. Mm -hmm. Which is why I generally put a cap of about 20 fluid ounces, maybe 24 at the extreme end. Mm -hmm. I've done an entire 32, but... That's on the excessive side, and I'd only bother doing that if I haven't gotten a drink for a very long time. Yeah. Right, because there has been times where I drink that one, and I, you know, I gotta grab another one and just drink that one down. Especially if you've been outside or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. sweating a lot. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. having something rather salty, like supered up ramen. Mm-hmm. I don't remember, I think I remember on your Facebook uh, page, well, whenever you started, whenever you first started moving, you, like, changed your diet to include more ramen and oatmeal. I remember, um... Yeah, that was for penny-pinching, basically. I see. Ramen. I remember... But now I can't have ramen or uh, mac yeah. and cheese or oatmeal mm. because they all require dishes. And right. I can't stand to do dishes. I remember there was like a picture that you had of like four packets of ramen in like one one plate. Can't you get like this? That's amazing. Um, dishes and just throw them away. Well, oh, that's can't a, that's do that awfully. With pan, so that's yeah. really oh, I see what you're saying. The, the, uh, stuff I mean, I guess technically you could just eat the ramen right out of the pot, but that's up to you know, that's up to you, not me. We still have to 
clean the pot and watch how you do it again. Okay, good point, Tori. Good point. Yeah, <laughs> You're so ruining my head, Ken. <laughs> Still. I'll just take you to the self check machine at Walmart and I'll just charge you zero dollars and zero cents extra for smiles. <laughs> in addition to whatever other items you end up buying there. Also very important. <laughs> I pretty much can't eat ramen these days with, unless I've drained the broth entirely, you know, because it has all fat in it and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I rinse the noodles down pretty well. Yeah. However, if I'm using a flavor packet, I actually do have a pretty good technique that I developed to, like, make it more, well, make it, you'll, it would, it would require, like, half of the flavor packet, but there's a pretty good technique you can use to make it more flavorful. Basically, it says to boil it for, like, four to five minutes. If you boil it for like, say, 10 to 12 minutes, the noodles become a lot stickier after you've drained it. So the, the flavor packet, basically, they, get, they completely like absorb it. Hmm. Those are amazing noodles, if you do it that way. Mm -hmm. And then you use less of the packet. Yeah. I'm a poor man. Well, I mean, I, you can use more yeah, of it. Yeah, usually what I do is I, I buy it in like sets of 12 packs, of, 12 of those right. bags, you know. Yeah. I take three bags worth at once. I, of course, take the seasoning out of all three of them. But uh, I set one of those seasoning packets aside, leaving me with just two left. But I have all three pa bags worth of uh, noodles, but only two of the uh, seasoning. I repeat that three times, so it's a total of nine. And it's nine bags used. So on that last set of three, I've now got three of those seasoning packets all uh, done, all stored up basically. Mm -hmm. So when I have that same flavor again, then uh, I, uh, let's see, I basically make up the noodles as I've been doing for a while, but instead of separating the uh, mm -hmm. seasoning packets, I put all three of them in, plus the three that I've set off the side. So it's six packets worth of seasoning and three worth in noodles. Mm. So it creates this twice as strong flavor. Right. And get this, the chicken flavor, it's so weak of a taste that the, even with it being supered up, I can't really tell there's any flavor there. Mm. Mm. I tended to use half the packet because it's like the the full packet is like 66% sodium per day. My um, mother and I guess has a bit of a problem and this is like a family thing, like heart stuff. So I definitely want to watch that. Also, when I, when I was using ramen a lot, I actually learned to or tried how to cook like different recipes with it. Like I would put a bunch of like say um, diced onion or minced onions and like you know, yeah, and like, yeah, and like, um, oregano, we're, <laughs> we're Italian, so it happens, you know, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things you can do with it that, you know, and like, like sardines and other stuff yeah, like that. I just like to keep things plain and simple well, as much as possible. Yeah. I guess the thing is, I kind of, Are you getting your ice I had to learn yeah. to cook basically, so I had to do something, but... You know, it's like, well, I can maximize the value for money, which, considering the years I was going through, was pretty much necessary. But, whatever. Yeah, I like to get and just kind of split that up so that way, when I have these areas that are kind of, since the pizzas aren't square, I have these extra areas off the side, I can just d dig into there and pick up it looks like It looks like from the, from the, uh, Paper towel. It looks like it's uh, the least amount of grease uh, so far. You must be getting pretty close to the end. Yeah. I do uh, three double, double thickness, and I do three singles. And if this was the, not the last pizza in the bunch that I get, what I do in that case is I would uh, put that three over it like I did with that one. But if this is the last pizza for which it is, then I would just eat it as is, but I try to look at what other areas could really use it, and I can see it could use some more. More toward the middle area here. 
So yeah, you can see it's still picking up a good bit of stuff here. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, it'll all be worth it. Yeah. Lab tests and stuff usually only go like maybe just one round of this and that's it. But forget one round, forget two rounds. Oh god no, you need, you need as many as possible. Yeah, I use to the point where it's not really picking up much to really be practical. Hmm. But I have stage two as well, to, don't forget that. Yeah. This is, I think, the most enduring trick of yours that people remember, because I remember your website used to have a bunch of uh, tips and tricks on it. Yeah. Although I think this is the one that most people remember, or at the very least, you know, that I can. I was, I'm, I'm never good with math, so the math tricks never really, I didn't really remember to use them. Thank you. But this one, this is, this is decent. Yeah, this is stage two. Ooh, individual slices. Yep. Basically get it down on here, squish it down flat. Because this way I can put a lot more pressure on it. Hmm. Of course, doing that causes sauce and whatnot to squeeze out. And if the grease is enough, the cardboard box is there, so that could at least absorb some of it as well. Yeah. Is that why you get extra sauce, so that like when some squeeze out, it's not like you've lost a whole lot? Nope. Notice how I'm just picking it off and eating it? Right. You're a vegetarian, right, Nick? Uh, you can pretty much say so, yeah. Alright. I haven't had meat since January 2004. Oh, really? What led to that? Basically, needing to lose weight. Ah, I see. And I saw meat was a huge source of fat. Hmm. Plus, I've always found meat is rather disgusting anyway. Huh. I, I don't eat, eat a... I don't eat a lot of meat these days. It does cost money. But I can never give up fish. Fish is... It's too good. I love fish. Mm -hmm. But that's just but that's just my childhood, you know, lasting and all that, I guess. Yeah, I count fish as meat because, well, you're eating another, uh, basically, animal. In yeah, I've never yeah. understood people who say, like, you don't count fish as meat. Well, and that isn't necessarily true. It's obviously meat. I think it's more of a perception thing. Although, it's worth mentioning, there are those um, experiments currently going on to basically lab-grow meat. Yeah, so it doesn't come from I've animals. read about that a lot in my science magazines I subscribe to. And I'm actually considering possibly terminating the uh, subscriptions just to have some extra money. Hmm. It's not like I'm really using them that much, but still. I mean, if you can, it's worth mentioning, you can actually find a lot of science-related, like, news articles and other stuff online for free. If you can save money, well, by all means do it. It's a very smart thing to do. Yeah, but the main thing is, if I'm, like, um, camping out or taking a dump or something, I, or sometimes even trying to get to sleep, reading sometimes helps with that, and that's usually a time which I do that. Online or offline? Offline. Oh, okay, that's what I meant. I meant, like, online, but, yeah. No, no, you, you're right, though. That actually would be a thing. I don't think I read, I don't think I really read offline stuff anymore. I mean, it's just not my mode, really. I want a computer most... Well, I mean, I'm mostly online all, on my computer all day, so, you know, it happens. Did you try to your pizza for me? No. I, I, I couldn't degrease my pizza, mostly because the Alfredo sauce is, well, sauce. There's no, you know, the, there's, what's the word? The grease of the cheese is just completely buried below it. So you'd have to remove the main feature of of, of ordering the pizza just for just to get to it. Yeah, I'm willing to take the hit for the time being. I mean, I've read articles. Well, that's up to you what you do. Correct. Um. So how how does the uh, degreased pizza taste? Hmm. Pretty much standard. <laughs> it. I can definitely see the distance or the uh, the uh, difference. It looks really yeah. The greasy is just completely gone. I can still see it, but it's nowhere near as much. Oh, God, no. Hmm. Yeah, I was telling Tori I tried to degrease my pizza just now. It actually tastes much better. I don't feel as bad. 
Mm. What was that? I just tried degreasing my pizza slices as before I eat them. And I don't taste as bad. That one's not degreased. That one was. I see. <laughs> I probably would have tried that if, if I didn't order the Alfredo, but, you know, it's pretty it's pretty rare that I get pizza and have to take advantage of it. I don't, like, feel as bad after eating them. Hmm. I guess for the full experience for all of us here, I probably should have degreased mine, but, oh well. Live and learn, I guess. Sammy, did you degrease yours? I did not. No. I ate mine with all the grease. <laughs> Considering what you put on it, that actually would, you know... Be a little problematic. <laughs> I know this is a good bit of grease on the side here. Hmm. I would think that from a perspective of actually mechanically doing it here, it would it would work a lot better. It obviously works better if it's just cheese and no meat. For example, the meat they add adds a lot of grease to it. Yeah, but this this degreasing technique, of course, works <laughs> on meat. Hmm. But good point. You're the master. <laughs> As in he, as in he basically literally invented it, or at least popularized it. Hmm. So how is it? What do you mean? You just said the pizza come out okay and everything. For the most part, I see a really big one here. I want to get next. Uh, they're trying to escape, but sadly they can't. That are just kind of exploring, hoping something changes. Uh, I like shooting video. Yeah, they're larger crickets, so they. Uh, they do a lot of that. <laughs> 